Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan. At the height of the Galactic Republic, the Jedi Temple on Coruscant had created a steady and efficient pipeline for turning kidnapped Force-sensitive babies into dedicated peacekeepers for the Republic. The most talented Jedi younglings would be chosen and become Padawans to the most successful Jedi Knights in the Order. Along the way, each individual Jedi would define their combat style by choosing one of the many forms of lightsaber combat. This was actually quite important because it was one of the few things that Jedi actually had control over in their own lives. Therefore, we can learn a lot about a Jedi fighter or a Sith fighter based on the form of lightsaber combat they have chosen. You had guys like Obi-Wan Kenobi, who preferred Form 3, which is more defensive and relied on patience and discipline. Then you had the powerful Vader, who liked using Form 5, which used primarily heavy power strikes. Not only was an individual's lightsaber form important, so was their masters. Ahsoka Tano was Anakin's Padawan, and although she preferred to dual-wield sabers with an alternative grip hold, she still trained in School 5 of lightsaber combat, just like Anakin did. Or we could take a look at Asajj Ventress, who preferred using Jarkai dual wielding as well, but was taught Mikasi by her own master Darth Tyrannus. Now the Jedi had thousands of years to perfect and teach all of these techniques, but what happened to all the lightsaber forms after Order 66 wiped out the Jedi Order? In the old days of the Jedi Temple, an individual known as a Battlemaster led instruction of the art of lightsaber techniques. Generally, these were individuals who have mastered every form of lightsaber combat and also have a lot of real-world experience fighting individuals with a lightsaber. The last Battlemaster of the Jedi Temple was Syndralic. He was slain by Darth Vader during Operation Nightfall. The fall of the Jedi Temple also marked the end of this very carefully created Jedi lightsaber training system. Like during other periods of great upheaval caused by the religious Jedi and Sith Wars, treasure troves of information were forever lost. Which was a huge blow for the galaxy. The Jedi Order was one of the most stable organizations in the Republic and had existed continuously for thousands of years. Thankfully, not all was lost though. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Grandmaster Yoda, along with a handful of other Jedi, survived the immediate purge. Together, they would stay alive long enough to train Luke Skywalker, the son of Anakin Skywalker and Padme Amidala. He was essentially the hope for all future generations of Jedi. Luke had missed out on a lot of things, including seeing the Jedi Order at its height when it occupied the Great Temple on Coruscant. And unfortunately, what little training he did get from Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda was usually cut short because of unseen circumstances. Luke, like all Jedi, started out with Form 1 basic maneuvers and trained with the blast shield over his face while trying to block bolts from a training remote drone. Form 1 or Shi Cho really is the foundation of all lightsaber combat. It helps an individual get used to the weight of the lightsaber and perform some basic parries and attacks. But unfortunately for Luke, Obi-Wan would cease being an opaque human being shortly after his first training session. And so up until perhaps the Battle of Hoth, Luke wasn't really proficient enough to use the lightsaber in any form of combat. This is why in these early days, Luke would oftentimes carry a blaster at his hip as well to supplement his combat style. Luke would eventually stumble upon the Jedi Temple of Edith located on Deveron. Within the temple's confines, Kenobi's spirit became stronger, and with his voice he was able to instruct Luke in some training exercises. Luke had also found three additional blaster remotes that he could work with. Building on the exercises he had learned on the Millennium Falcon, Luke incorporated all three of the remotes into his routine and was most likely instructed by Obi-Wan Kenobi in the basics of Form 3. Form 3 Surusu, or Way of the Minoc, was a terrific defensive shell form. It created maximum defensive coverage with the sword and also maximized the interception of incoming rounds and blasters. During this time period, Form 3 probably would have been very useful for Luke. There are very few other swordsmen in the galaxy for him to fight against, and the majority of his enemies were stormtroopers wielding ranged weapons. And so, when actual stormtroopers stormed the Temple of Edith, Luke was a bit more prepared than usual to take them down. But when Luke encounters Darth Vader for the first time on a mission to the Imperial base of Simon 1, he isn't quite ready yet to face a master swordsman. Luke's close brush with death made him realize that he needed to invest more time in training up his lightsaber abilities. And slowly, we see him become more competent with the saber and less reliant on the blaster. Luke even has a sparring session with a gladiator trainer and his Magna Guard droids. Luke was also able to receive more training after the evacuation of Echo Base on Hoth. 
following the voice of Kenobi, Luke lands on the planet of Dagobah, where he meets Jedi Master Yoda, who will continue his training. But instead of focusing on lightsaber techniques, Yoda mainly helps Luke balance himself emotionally and control the Force with more precision. Like his father, Luke picks up Jediing at a pretty old age, and he's already developed some worldviews and personality traits that might become an obstacle in his Jedi training. And so just like his impulsive father, Luke leaves his training well before he's done and journeys to Bespin and walks right into Vader's trap. During this duel, Luke is still outclassed completely, but now he's able to parry a few blows from the much larger Sith Lord. But ultimately, Darth Vader's Form 5 is too powerful for the Jedi to overcome. Now, even though Luke loses a hand and is ultimately defeated, he does learn a little bit of Darth Vader's Form 5 techniques and incorporates it into his own dueling style. After Hoth, we continue to see Luke develop as a swordsman. He becomes more and more comfortable with the saber and almost never uses his blaster anymore. Luke would return to Dagobah once again to witness the death of Yoda, his last link to the Jedi Temple of old. Now, there were other survivors of the Jedi Purge who were capable in lightsaber combat, so let's take a look at those guys and see whether they were able to pass down their uh, lightsaber knowledge as well. First, we have Cal Kessis, Padawan of Jar and Tapal, the massive Lasat Jedi Master, who wielded an even larger double-bladed saber. Cal Kessis lost his master, probably before he was truly proficient at any lightsaber form. He would have known Form 1 by now and some of the other basic moves in other schools. Even more likely, he probably picked up other fighting techniques while he was on the run, specifically techniques that didn't use the Force or lightsabers. Well, we don't know what ends up happening to Cal after the events of the Fallen Order game, but Kessis does manage to find and destroy a holocron with a list of Force-sensitive children that would have been recruited by the Jedi. He ultimately decided that it was better for the Force to determine their fate instead of him. So, he doesn't actively seek out potential Force users and try to train them. Then we have Caleb Doom, another Padawan who survived Order 66. His master, Deepa Balaba, had given her life to save him. Caleb Doom was focused on Form 3 lightsaber combat. Deepa was a master in that form and liked using it in close quarter fighting situations where she could control the avenues of attack. During his earlier fights with the Grand Inquisitor, Caleb Doom relied on Form 3 heavily to stay in the game, but eventually he would incorporate Form 5 techniques into his fighting style along with Jarkai dual wielding. With all of these new skills, Caleb Doom would defeat the Inquisitor in their last battle. Caleb would also pass on whatever knowledge he had to Ezra Bridger, who was completely untrained and used the hybrid lightsaber blaster setup. Caleb also had a holocron, which showcased Anakin Skywalker teaching some basic Form 5 techniques. This could be where Caleb learned these additional moves. Ezra was also a quick learner, but like Hal Kestis and Caleb, he most likely picked up a lot of new moves from living on the streets as a kid, and also developed his own type of moves and learned and copied from his enemies like the Grand Inquisitor. Now, Ahsoka Tano would be another individual who possessed a great amount of knowledge about lightsaber combat and also survived the Jedi Purge. Although her training technically ended while she was a Padawan, she was far better trained and experienced than most other individuals at her age. As a matter of fact, had she stayed with the temple, she would have been promoted to Jedi Knight. Ahsoka Tano used an unorthodox Jarkai reverse grip combined with the fifth form of lightsaber combat, Shin. She was already one of the most skilled Jedi on the battlefield before she hit adulthood. By the time of the Empire, Ahsoka was so powerful that she could take on multiple Inquisitors at the same time and make short work of them. But after Ezra Bridger disappeared into the unknown, Ahsoka Tano tries to follow them and also disappears. Now, on the other side of the form, we have Emperor Palpatine, the one constant evil in the galaxy. He is skilled in all lightsaber forms, but specifically Form 7 Juyo, also known as a Sith form because it feeds on hate and anger. Darth Vader also taught the Inquisitors and trained them in various forms of lightsaber combat. But the two Sith's goal was not to have new apprentices, but to create servants that could carry out their will. And by the sequel era, all that is left within the Force user community is just Rey and Kylo Ren. Both of these individuals were trained by Luke Skywalker, who himself had a patchy understanding of all the lightsaber form techniques. I'm sure he was able to recover some ancient texts and maybe some holocrons that might be able to teach him some of these other techniques. Lightsaber combat by this point will have become quite simplified and crude because of a lack of information and masters. Now, had Luke been able to continue what he was doing and really establish this Jedi Temple, maybe things would have changed. 
but ultimately Kylo Ren would betray him, or was it the other way around? Kylo mainly relied on Form 1 and Form 5 Jem So. He was a powerful Force user and, like his grandfather, enjoyed putting his weight behind his blade. Rey, who only met Luke after his temple was destroyed, had even less training. She was, however, a proficient fighter with the staff, making her uniquely suited for her saber staff. During her short time on Octu, Rey does seem to learn some basic Form 1 techniques, but her style afterwards is inconsistent. But she is a very powerful and athletic fighter who allows the Force to run through her during combat. If anything, her form was quite similar to Form 7, Juyo, the form of the Sith, and one of the most potent techniques available. The danger, of course, with this technique is sometimes the users fell to the dark side. By all accounts, lightsaber combat in the future is going to be pretty different and probably primitive and simplified because of a lack of knowledge. Lost knowledge is one of the greatest tragedies in human history because it reflects the loss of multiple generations of learning and development. An individual human who is alone isn't all that different from an animal, but give that human access to the collective knowledge, history, and technology of humanity, they become the masters of this planet. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the rest of our awesome content. And as usual, thanks for joining us today. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.